I don't like losing, especially not like this. I play like terrible. Uh, I'm really proud of this team, man. Nobody had us here, uh, but I promise we fought till till end. You know, I think uh, you can see a uh, championship team. The Warriors are, and we gotta we gotta learn how to be that. All right, so he's 23 years old, and he clearly is one of the budding superstars in the NBA. What are the right things to say about Luka this morning, Pat Bev, after this run comes to a close? Now you got to give him a lot of credit. Uh, he's absolutely right. No one, no, one, I, I, no one in the NBA counted Dallas to be in the Western Conference Finals. Um, he was there. He showed up. He showed up when his team needed him. He hit big shots. He didn't cave in. Uh, down, I don't know, you know, down 3-0, come back, get a win. Uh, you know, he, he let it all hang. He didn't go out without any, 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 without any bullets in his gun. So you have to give him a lot of credit. You have to give Jason Kidd a lot of credit um, for, for, you know, first year with the team. Obviously, you know, no Tim Hardaway Jr. So they won uh, an, an entirely, entirely healthy. So get his Dallas, Dallas team a lot of credit. They played well. They fall. They just came up short. No, I've been on the road, VC, with, with these NBA playoffs, and I got people. Even though I'm covering the East, I got people walking up to me in, in both these cities talking about Luca every single night. He has really opened up a lot of eyes as to just how good he is. What is your takeaway from him as his run comes to an end? Well, Greeny, as they should, he is for real. He's the real deal. Uh, I, I mean, you see some of the best defenders in the league say, "Hey." Luca, you, you have Pat Bev sitting there, and we say, "Hey, man, that, that's not an easy, a easy task to guard him and 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 take him out of his uh, out of what he wants to do." I mean, he dictates game. He's a believer. He's a fighter. He's a winner. And he, uh, I mean, he willed his team. I mean, you, you can see him empowering his other guys to get a win. And what he did in the third quarter was pretty spectacular on the road, almost single-handedly bringing them back into contention, giving them a chance to win. So Luca is right there. They're a, they're a center away and maybe some just some shooting, just small tweaks away from yeah. being a good team. And, and last thing, I want to give some props as well to my former teammate Jason Kidd because yeah. he, has a, he got a second opportunity at this, and he's taking advantage of it for one. For two, I mean, in-game adjustments, game-to-game -game adjustments that he made, giving his team a chance to win, it was phenomenal, and he deserves some love, too. That's well said. I, I think it feels like a year ago, but them knocking out Phoenix, I think, stunned a lot of people. That said, Wendy, Absolutely. it is one thing to make a great run, and they certainly did that. But taking that next step is a big one. What do they need? Yeah, I totally can feel where Nico Harrison, the general manager, and Mark Cuban are today. They are so happy to advance this far, and they know that the work in front of them is so challenging. Next time Luka gets back to the conference finals, whether it's a year from now or two years from now, he's got to have a better team. He is the hope diamond. What setting do you put him in? As Vince said, the position that they're missing is the position that they didn't, fe they didn't field fill with Chris Apps Porzingis. Porzingis is the player, that type of player that they have. So... Could they possibly figure out a way to get a player like DeAndre Ayton? This is what executives wonder. It would be very hard with their what assets do they have. Is it possible that they could pry away a player like Rudy Gobert from the Dallas Maverick? I'm sorry, from the Utah Jazz. Those are the types of players that if you put next to Luka, somebody who could defend the rim and also take some pressure off him in a pick-and-roll situation offensively, that would potentially take this team to the next level. Getting that secondary force is the major challenge for this team but they just don't have a whole lot of assets because they're still out of first-round draft pick from trading Porzingis, and they don't have attritionable cap space, and most of their assets are in the perimeter. So a great spot to be in, next step very hard. No, it, it's an interesting way of looking at it. it. What they need, specifically what they need, is what they thought they were getting when they got Chris Tapp's Porzingis, and that's what they don't have, and it's not that easy to find. Those, if, if they were easy to find, every team would have one. We'll see if the Mavericks can get themselves over the top. All right, we're Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.